Hello, hi, my name is Jackie Anugo, and I will be talking about the major functions of each type of connective tissue. Let's get started. Connective tissues are tissues that are most abundant type of tissue by the way. They do different things like bind structures, provide support, store fat, and protect against infections, among many other things. They have an abundant extracellular matrix between them because they are farther apart than compared to epithelial cells. The first one we're going to talk about is the areolar connective tissue, which forms delicate thin membranes throughout the body. They bind under the bind the skin to the underlying organs and fill the spaces between the muscles. They are located beneath the most layers of the epithelium. Next, we have adipose, also known as fat tissue, which develop when adipocytes store fat droplets in their cytoplasm. They are located beneath the skin in the spaces of between the muscles, around the kidney, behind the eyeballs, and also on the surface of the heart. They could also be described as white or brown adipose tissue. White adipose tissue stores nutrients while brown adipose tissue breaks down nutrients. Next, we have reticular connective tissue, which is also known to comp as for composing of thin reticular fibers in a three-dimensional network. It helps provide the framework of internal organs like the liver and the spleen, and it's located in the walls of the liver and the spleen. Next, we have dense connective tissue, and there are two types. There are dense regular and dense irregular. Dense regular are very closely packed. They have thick collagen fibers. They're elastic as well, but their blood supply to it is very poor, which basically slows down tissue repair, which is when you get a sprain sometimes or you hurt something. It kind of takes a while for it to heal. And they're located in the tendons and the ligaments. We have the dense irregular, which are thicker than the dense regular and because and they're randomly distributed. They're located in the parostium, perichondrium, capsules of the organs, and the dermis. Next, we have elastic connective tissue, which consists of yellow elastic fibers in parallel strands or in branching networks. They are located in an attachment between the bones of the spinal column and the layers within the walls of the larger hearts, arteries, and airways. Next, we have cartilage, which is basically rigid connective tissue, which is very hard connective tissue. There are three types of cartilages. There's hyaline cartilage, cartilage which is the most common type, and it's located in the ends of the bones of many joints, the soft part of our nose, and around the rings of respiratory passages. Next, we have elastic cartilage, which is more flexible because of the elastic fibers, which are located where in the external ears and parts of the larynx. Lastly, we have the fibrocartilage, which is very, very tough tissue because it do has a lot of collagen fibers. It is a shock absorber for structures to pressure. So when you hit your knee, that's what protects it. And the locations are at the knees and the pelvic girdle. Next, we have the bone, which is also known as osseous tissue, which is the most rigid connective tissue due to the mineral salts. There are two types, the compact bone and the spongy bone. The bone is located between the bones of the skeleton and the middle ear. They protect vital structures in the cranial and thoracic cavities and is also an attachment for muscles. Lastly, we have our blood, which is composed of formed elements such as red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. Our red blood cells transport gases, our white blood cells fight infections, and our platelets are involved in blood clotting. Location of our blood is throughout our whole entire body. It's what runs through our blood, our body, and it is located in the closed system between blood vessels and heart chambers. So this is all of the connective tissue. This is a summary that is so easy to study. It's a table that's so easy to study that we got from our textbook. And this is what all the functions of the connective tissues are all about. Thank you for listening.